एवरीवन, आई एम प्राची अग्रवाल वेलकम टू आवर चैनल लर्न कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग विद कोड शेफ इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग एंड वांट टू लर्न एंड मास्टर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एल्गोरिथम्स, देन दिस इज अ वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू एवरी वीक वील पोस्ट कोड शेफ प्रॉब्लम एक्सप्लेनेशन कंसेप्चुअल वीडियोज ऑन वेरियस प्रोग्रामिंग पैराडाइम्स एंड ऑल्सो कंडक्ट लाइव प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग सेशन बट Before we actually get started here's a reminder to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet already great now that you have subscribed let's get started today we'll be solving the problem and plus or which is uh, the october lunch time problem and the difficulty level of the problem is simple so let us see the agenda for today so the agenda for today is that first we will understand the problem statement as usual then we will try to understand the concept by which we can solve the problem and then we will do a quick walk through of the code which will be in python so let's get started hey guys did you know that coach chef also conducts free live classes on an academy where we cover each possible topic related to competitive programming we have beginner courses like introduction to java and c++ recursion basic data structures and we also have advanced uh, courses just like dynamic programming graph theory trees segment trees and there are many more courses to come up which will help you in enhancing your competitive programming these courses are covered by the top coding experts from around the world who are IOI medalists, ICPC world finalists, and have worked in companies like Google, Amazon, LinkedIn, Flipkart, and all these companies that you always dream of. All you need to do is download the Unacademy app, or you can also register yourself on unacademy.com by clicking here on Start Learning and choosing your goal as Competitive Programming. You can also take the paid plus subscription in order to get additional features and individual level support. Also, we have six star and seven star rated teaching assistants to clear all your doubts during and after the live sessions. To get your paid plus subscription, you can use my referral code, which is Prachi16, and get an instant 10% discount. So hurry up, guys! Subscribe to An Academy Plus and kickstart your journey of competitive programming. So in the problem statement, we are given an integer x, and we have to find two non-negative integers a and b such that they satisfy this expression. And what is the expression? It is a and b plus a or b equals to x. The and operator and the or operator used is the bitwise and and or operator. which means that it operates on binary digits and uh, what do we have as input so for each test case we'll just be given an integer x as input and what will be our output so for this problem we are supposed to print uh, a and b pair if we can find such a pair which satisfies this expression otherwise we will print minus 1 and also note that there can be multiple solutions to this problem and we only have to print one of them as i told you that uh, or and and operator they operate on binary digits where which are 1 and 0 so let us see the rules of uh, these two operators first let us look at the and operation so out of the two numbers in an and operation if one of them is 0 then definitely we can say that our anded operation will always result in a zero but only if there are all the ones present when we are anding two numbers only then the answer will be one but in an or operation what is the difference that if and only if all the numbers are zero only then uh, the or operation will always give us zero otherwise if there is at least one one present in the uh, out of any two numbers that we are ordering then we will always get the result as one so uh, what was our expression our expression was that uh, we were supposed to uh, satisfy this expression a and b plus a or b equals to x so let us take a value for x uh, x equals to 8 now uh, we need to find a and b such that it satisfy this expression so uh, for x equals to 8 we can take a equals to 5 and b equals to 3 
and this will satisfy the expression given here so how uh, will that happen first we will have to convert a and b that is 5 and 3 to its binary form because we are going to perform the bitwise operations and an or so uh, after converting 5 and 3 to their uh, binary forms 5 is 101 and 3 in its binary form is 11 and we can add a zero here since uh, 5 is of uh, three digits binary and 3 is only of two digits so we have to uh, make them equal digits now we will perform the and operation first so if we perform the and operation then you know that 1 and 1 gives us 1 0 and 1 will give us 0 and again 1 and 0 will give us 0 so this binary equivalent is equals to 1 in its uh, decimal form now let us perform the OR operation on uh, these two same numbers. So uh, again we'll add a 0 here and then perform the OR operation. 1 OR 1 will give us 1, 1 OR 0 will again give us 1 and 1 OR 0 will again give us 1. So this binary is equivalent to 7 in its decimal form. Now what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to add the AND result and the OR result. So what have we obtained as the AND result is uh, 1 and we have obtained the OR result as 7. So 1 plus 7 equals to 8 which is equals to X. So yes, these two numbers can satisfy this expression. So it is the correct answer. But how do we find out these two numbers? Do we use a brute force approach? So if we use a brute force approach in this problem to find out A and B such that it satisfies this expression, then we will have to check for each pair of numbers from 1 up to X that it is satisfying this condition or not, this expression or not. So uh, the number of possible pairs from 1 to X will be X into X minus 1 by 2. So what will be our time complexity? Our time complexity will be order of x square. And order of x square time complexity will not get accepted seeing the constraints here. As you can see x is up to uh, will be given up to 10 to the power 18 which is very large. And also the test cases are also up to 10 to the power 5 which is in fact very large. So this time complexity will not get accepted. And as you can see in the subtask, so it may get accepted for uh, up to a range of 200, but it will only get you 30 points. And uh, you will have to earn the 70 points if you can satisfy the condition for the original constraint. So what do we do? Can we find uh, such a way such that one of the two, that is this uh, and or the OR uh, operation that we are performing, one of the two can contribute X and the other may contribute 0. Can we find such a scenario? Let us see. One of the properties of AND and OR is also that if any number X is ANDed with 0, then it will always result into 0. And if any number X is ORed with 0, then it will always result into the number itself that is x. So following this property what we can do that we can always take our a comma b pair as x comma 0. So that means that a can be either x or 0 and b can be the other number. So if your a is suppose x then your b will be 0 or vice versa that a is 0 and b is x. So for every time we take uh, these two numbers, we can always be able to satisfy this expression. Let us also take an example to prove our point. Let's take x equals to 9. So our a comma b pair which will be able to satisfy this expression will be a equals to x and b equals to 0. So x is 9 and uh, well b is 0. Now let us convert them into their binary equivalent. So 9 is 1001 and 0 is 
zero 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 zero. So zero is only zero, but since nine is of four digits, so we have written zero four times. And I have performed the AND operation here. So uh, if we uh, do the AND operation, then check one and zero is zero. Zero and zero will always be zero. Zero and zero will be zero. And one and zero will again be zero because if uh, any one of the number is zero, then it will result in zero. Now we will perform the OR operation similarly. So in the OR operation also, uh, we already know the rules that one or zero will be one, zero or zero will be zero, and one or zero will be one. So if any of the number is one, then it will result in one, otherwise zero. So uh, the AND operation, uh, the binary equivalent is equals to zero in its decimal form and the binary equivalent for OR operation is equals to nine in its decimal form. And now if we add both of them zero plus nine, then it will give us nine, which is equals to X. And this will be the case in any number. Uh, you may take X to be anything up to 10 to the power 18 as per the constraints, but this will always be true. So for all X, our answer can be X and zero or zero and X. All right, so now quickly discussing the code. Well, there's nothing much to discuss in the code. As you can see that the first few lines are the input, uh, like first line is the input for number of test cases. Then we have run a loop for each test case and we are taking input for x, the integer that was given to us. And then we already know that our answer will always be x and zero. So we have printed our answer as x comma zero. So comma will ensure that uh, we have a space in between the two numbers. Uh, so a will be x and b will be zero. That's it guys, like the video if you understood the concept. And also do not forget to post all your doubts and feedbacks on the comment section. And we'll be happy to solve all your doubts. If you also have any other solution to the problem, then feel free to post them in the comment section. And also you must definitely make it a practice of submitting these problems even after the contest is over. So you can go to the practice problems in CodeShare and always submit the solution which will uh, help you enhance your coding and uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon.